Our top story at this hour, we are one step closer to the groundbreaking of Bakersfield's new Veterans Affair Clinic. Hanford Congressman David Valadeo held pass a bill Wednesday that's now headed to the Senate. If passed, the bill would require the VA to move forward with construction no later than September 30th, 2025, pending any court injunction. And as of now, there is no injunction. 17's Jenny Ha has the story. 69-year-old Ferdinand Rivera is a U.S. Army veteran. Part-time in the U.S. and part-time in Europe. But right alongside his long pride of serving his country is his battle with alcoholism, which began in the Army. It got to the point where I had to have it a lot every day. For over 20 years, he's had to travel to Los Angeles for the services he needs. 14 or 16 hours, depending on the traffic, and you know L.A. If we had a clinic, a good clinic in Bakersfield, I could have had the neuro movement appointment up here. That's why I'm here with you, because I need help, and I'm not getting it from the VA. A new state-of-the-art Bakersfield Veterans Affairs community-based outpatient clinic has been promised, yet never delivered since its approval by Congress in 2009. The new clinic would be a $40 million, near 40,000 square foot medical facility off Newtson and Olive Drives in North Bakersfield, offering primary and specialty care like dental and mental health. The latest in the legal tug of war? A lawsuit filed December 2023. The city of Bakersfield and project builder SASD Development Group of San Diego want the new clinic. Progress for Bakersfield Veterans LLC, a subsidiary of Cardinal Equities, and Friends of the Bakersfield Kit Fox and Environment, a nonprofit, are against it. They are the plaintiffs in the suit. Because the longer this project is delayed and doesn't go vertical and doesn't get built, the longer the plaintiffs can continue to receive lease payments from the federal government. Since the start of the new VA clinic, it's faced the same roadblock, Cardinal Equities, the owner of the land on which the current VA clinic sits on West Wind Drive. Cardinal's owner, Peter Cohen, has been accused of delaying construction for profit, renting out that current clinic site. 17 News has been reaching out to Peter Cohen for comment since last September, but we have never heard back. Jamie Hall, the lead attorney for Cohen at Channel Law Group, says he cannot speak with media. 17 News has not heard back from the lawyers for friends of the Bakersfield Kit Fox and Environment. The lawsuit is on environmental grounds, challenging much of what the city has already approved. By July 3rd, both parties must submit all relevant evidence to the court. Jenny Ha, 17 News.